yesterday afternoon after finishing up here? I did. Look, I went to, to check out a sport that we haven't really talked about on weekend breakfast yet, and that is ice hockey, which is actually one of the fastest growing sports in Australia. In the last 10 years, the player participation numbers around Australia have actually doubled in size. What went from zero to 10? No. <laughs> it went from 2,000 to 4,000. Okay. That's just registered players, so okay. there are quite a few. And the reason that I went to check this along, check this out, was because I was invited to see a demonstration game by a team called the Sydney Bears, and they're playing at a pretty unusual location. Well, let's just check it out then. I can't wait to see it. Okay. Well, I'm down here at Sydney's Bondi Beach, which is, of course, an area you would associate with a lot of different sporting activity, surfing, volleyball, maybe even a cheeky game of beach cricket. But right now, we're going to look at something a little bit different, and that is ice hockey. speed of the game, uh, the challenge of being good at the sport, uh, being a good skater is something uh, some people neglect. A lot of people want to play hockey but they don't want to learn how to skate and uh, I do enjoy the skating aspect of it so that, that for me is, is the appeal and the speed, the athleticism and also teamwork. What about the touch of violence that sort of seems to come with the sport? Well, we're fairly padded and protected, so it's not too bad. Um, I mean, accidents happen. I think there's danger in any sport, but uh, it's, um, I, I haven't had any serious significant injuries. quickly running through the, just the very basic rules of ice hockey. Okay, well basically we play five on five. Each team has five players on the ice plus a goalie. We also have people on reserve, that's called on the bench. Uh, because it's a fairly fast sport, you tend to get puffed or exhausted fairly quickly. So then we change it up, you'll take a break, you'll be on the bench, have a rest, then you'll be back out. We're changing up all the time. That keeps the game flowing fast. <laughs> How hard is it to be involved in ice hockey in Australia? Well, I think compared to, say, parts of uh, the Northern Hemisphere, there aren't as many opportunities for ice time. If you were in, say, Canada or the Czech Republic, there's so many opportunities to get out on the ice, you realise <coughs> the appeal of the game. Here we're a bit challenged in that regard, but there's five, five ice rinks in Sydney alone, so there, there's opportunities out there for people who are enthusiastic. <laughs> about the history of ice hockey in Australia? Sure, well basically the, uh, the roots in Australia can be traced back to about 1904. Um, you know, of all places, Adelaide is sort of where a uh, few people got the idea to uh, follow a Canada suit and start playing with hockey sticks and balls on the ice and the sport sort of progressed from there. Now I understand Australia actually has a, a quite a long competitive history in ice hockey as well. Absolutely, what a lot of people aren't aware of, we've actually uh, got one of the three oldest cups in the world, the Goodall Cup, uh, which was inaugurated in 1909. And uh, we've had a pretty strong performance since then, obviously with uh, limited ice time, considering the, uh, the lack of resources, I think we've done quite well. What's Australia's history in terms of competing at the Olympics and World Championships? Well, Australia actually competed in 1968 in the uh, Winter Olympics, and unfortunately that's the only time that we have. Uh, we have had strong performances over the last few years in Division uh, Division 3 and sort of progressed up to Division 2 and Division 1 um, in the World Championships and we currently rank 34th worldwide um, in the ice hockey standards. And finally, can I just ask, I mean obviously this isn't a rink that you play at very often down at Bondi Beach, but what is it like skating on the beach? Well, it's a bit surreal. Uh, I wouldn't call it skating as such, it's almost like you're aquaplaning. There's a lot of water out there, but you know, beautiful backdrop of Bondi and uh, it's a bit surreal being on there. to hear that Australia had a club back in 1904. I'm surprised there were rinks around in 1904. Yeah, I was actually reading the first ever competitive game was between those people that set it up in Adelaide and also a group of US sailors that were just in Adelaide and yeah. they played the first ever game. So, good history. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to move back into the present. Indeed. And then we'll 